you. Whatever. All right. Um. So, uh, we got another one from Family Guy. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Family Guy. Yep. That's what we got. These are some cutaways. Some more cutaways. Cutaway compilation. Let's cut away. Clear your mind, remove all traces of unease and doubt, and I will tell you your future. What is it, Peter? You will die in a plane crash and be reincarnated as a prophylactic. <laughs> all right. No, no, not all right. <laughs> Whoa, Stewie, you're getting to be a big boy. I think somebody's going to be a football star. Oh, you. <laughs> oh, forgot your chart. Be right back. Whoa, Jason, you're getting to be a big boy. I think somebody's going to be a football star. I can't believe I fell for that line. I actually let myself believe I could be a doctor's wife. You're just fat, Stewie. Silly and fat. <laughs> Peter, where are you going? Last day on Earth, last chance to do this. I'm going to find a black neighborhood and see what happens if I yell the you-know-what word. They respected me for saying it. I know, Daddy. He's become so full of himself. He's more annoying than when he's making his Christmas list. Now, Peter, are you sure this is all you want for Christmas? I'm only going to the mall once. Yeah, yeah, that's it. All new this Christmas, remote control cars that glow in the dark? <laughs> Get that! I've spent my whole life as a Christian. I'll tell you what you should do with it. Absolutely nothing. That's the problem with this world. Too many people go overboard with what they believe. Like Quagmire when he thought he was the one getting the spinoff. See you later, bitches. Have fun with your stupid <laughs> giant chicken jokes and your Conway Twitter. Hey, why is there a moving truck outside Cleveland's house? <laughs> hey, Brian, watch. Here comes my big part. Oh, here comes Large Bird and Moody Green Garbage Creature. Wow, you're a big bird. And I'm grouchy, so get out of my way. You watch that too, moody green garbage creature, or I'll get Bernie and Gert over here to kick your butt. Is there a problem here? Yeah, you need us to use our fists. <laughs> ah! Okay, that is the last time you are going to pull that crap. Ah! You hear me? Yes. Do you hear me? Ah! Yes. <laughs> You are gonna hold down that football until Charlie Brown kicks it. You got that? <laughs> yes. Go ahead. <laughs> Yay! And you know what else? I did some checking around. You're not a licensed therapist. Uh. Yikes. That's a recipe for disappointment. Like walking a floral arrangement through an office full of fat women. Is there a miss? <gasps> Is. Aww. <laughs> It's amazing what you find when you clean your basement. Peter, you almost done down there? <laughs> Look what I found. That's wonderful, Peter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go do some skywriting. <laughs> Meg, this is a list of hats. I need these by four o'clock. Good idea. One of those hats would have helped him at the park today. Chris, did you put a coonskin cap on Stewie? No. Why? <laughs> <laughs> they look like little robbers. Dad, will oh, you help me shit. with my homework? Uh, Chris, I gotta tell you, that sounds worse than a trip to a failing mall. All right, kids, your mom is gonna go to the Cinnabon that has the cage pulled halfway down, and I'm gonna go to the stereo store next to the dead fountain with garbage in it. Let's say we meet back here under the glue outline of the old limited sign. Hey there, little fella. What's that around your neck? Well, I say it's a little black Jesus. Black Jesus! I rode into town on an ass. Yo mama's ass. Black Jesus! Well, I guess sometimes you're just right for the part. Like James Earl Jones playing Darth Vader. So, James, <laughs> we just want you to do the voice. I guess I could, but I, I don't know if it'll do any good unless you can complete denial. Like people in massive debt. 
Well, honey, I've extended our line of credit and exhausted all our savings. We should be good for another month. Oh, that's great, honey. Well, what are we going to do next month? Well, I'll tell you what we're not going to do. Shoot all of our children and then kill ourselves. Oh, I'm going to hold you to that. I don't think you'll have any control over it. And now our yeah. feature presentation, Lawrence of Arabia, presented in its original uh -huh. Ultra Cinemascope letterbox format. Well, I can't see anything. Who's the rather attractive girl on the camel? That's Peter O'Toole. You film buffs might enjoy this. Both his first and last names are slang for penis. <laughs> well, thanks for nothing, Dad! Don't mind him, monkey. He's just a big disappointment. Like things that look like DVDs from far away. <gasps> DVDs! Ah, books. <laughs> and you better get there quick, because with Quagmire, sex is inevitable. Like a fat guy ordering uh. dessert when everyone else wants to leave. <laughs> so, does anyone want dessert? Oh, I couldn't eat another bite. No, I gotta get home with this here. I'll have this supply. That takes 45 minutes. That's okay. <laughs> so, this is not Reagan? No, it's Rich Little. He's an impressionist. He's been screwing with your head. Well, this thing is worthless. <laughs> like my Palestinian alarm clock. Uh, it's good. Allahu Akbar! Dad, can we please have a turn at the Xbox? Just a second, Meg. I'm still trying to get the hang of this. Okay, guys, tell me again. Uh, now, which one do I press to shoot now? Damn it. Ah, yeah, crap. Who's the douchebag who keeps dying? I'm not a douchebag. I'm new. <laughs> Look, if you're no good, why don't you just go hide till the end? All right, I'll go crouch behind the, uh... Is this a crouch button? Oh, oh, who dropped the grenade? Idiot! We're gonna play! Moron! You suck! Wow, it's beautiful down there. I just can't believe it really looks like this. Boy, the fish tank at daycare really nailed it. No, really, I have a boyfriend. His name is Anthony. Well, Meg, if you're telling us the truth, I just hope to God he's an improvement over the last one. Thanks, Mrs. Griffin. That was delicious. You're welcome, Justin. It was a pleasure to meet you. Come on, I'll take you home. Okay, babe. <laughs> <laughs> He ain't got no legs. <laughs> we now return to Robert Mitchum in A Backhand for Sally. You're getting on that train with me. I can't go with you. I just can't. Okay, uh... I'll go. Ow! I said I'd go. Why'd you give me the back of your hand? Because I love you. <laughs> 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 I guess that's all they can get. <laughs> Nigga with our legs. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, they always do Meg wrong, man. <laughs> they do. They always do Meg wrong. And she's, she's voiced by Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis fine as hell. <laughs> I ain't do Mila like that. Yeah, man. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the, you know... That's his family, man. Man, they got so many great cutaways, man. It's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. The fucking first one, Pagmire came back <laughs> as a fucking condom. <sighs> oh, man. And then to clean this up, Quagmire <laughs> thought he was getting his dog. <laughs> yeah. They they probably could do know. a spinoff show with Quagmire. Surprised they had It would be disgusting. <laughs> It'd be a lot of weirdness. It, yeah, it had to be. Yeah, you know? it'll be it'll be like rated MA or some <laughs> shit. That's what it have to be. <laughs> quagmire. Yeah. You can only take a little bit of Quagmire in the show. A little bit of it. <laughs> you get the whole show about Quagmire's adventures. Oh man, yeah, Quagmire and the old dude. <laughs> oh yeah, the uh, with the cane. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be a fucked up uh, show too. Yeah. <laughs> well, how many kids he got in his basement? <laughs>